So I was going to ask you, how important is it to choose a certain mushaf? Because I'll give you my personal example is when I started HIFS, and obviously when you start, you're young, 9, 10, and you won't have this information. You're just going to say if you have to select a, a random mushaf, you're going to probably choose the one that looks the nicest with the nicest cover, the nicest kind of calligraphy on there. And when I was young, I chose this copy of the Quran was 11 lines, right? Okay. 11 lines and it was the Indo-Pak script. Okay. So it wasn't the, I think the standard one is the 16 line Saudi one. I forgot what the, like the official term for it is, but this one is an 11 line Quran. And unfortunately, ever since is my most prized possession now, because I've never found another one. I've never found another copy other than my brother, which was brought at the same time. I've looked online. I've tried to search Fs. The only way I can probably get another one is if I get it specifically scanned and made. And this is a big, how can I say it? This is a somewhat of a drawback because when it comes to revising, I have to use this Quran because how we memorize is you have certain let's say like photographs in your mind of the pages structure. So you can't keep changing the Mus'haf. I guess yes. you can at a very advanced level. So what would you say uh, on that? So do you have that same Mus'haf which you used to refer to when in your childhood? Yes, I still have it, but it's very difficult to find another copy. Like if I go to a random Masjid, you can always find the 16 line Arabic, like the Saudi version of yeah, the Mus'haf al Madina. Okay, Mus'haf al Madina, yeah. So uh, if I was advising someone now, I'd tell them to choose that one because it's the most widely available. Exactly. What you have mentioned regarding choosing the right Mus'haf for Hibs, it's very important that you choose the right Mus'haf and you stick with it all throughout your Hibs. It should not get like you have started with some Mus'haf and then you are switching on to some other Mus'haf. The one which I referred to when I started Hibs, it's known as the Hafizi Quran over here in India. I think it's even available in your country as well, in pa Pakistan, etc. It's a very common one, used, referred to by Hufaz. So this Hafizi Quran, but obviously it is based on the indo pak script and it has 15 lines. The speciality of this Mus'haf is that each page ends on an ayah. Each page of the Quran, it's, it ends on an ayah and this helps you whenever you are leading Tara. So it also helps you in Tara and it also helps in creating visual memory. So even today, after having completed around, if I will just to tell you the number of revisions which I have completed, they have nearly reached 100 revisions until now. So after having completed 100 revisions, right now I do not require to refer to the Mus'haf. Whenever I want to revise any juice. Even today, I have a fixed call with my Ustaz, the same Ustaz who has taught me Hibs. I recite to him on a daily basis one juice from the Quran. So when I want to recite, today I do not require to look into the Mus'haf because I have followed just one Mus'haf. I have stayed with it all throughout my Hibs. Now it has created a visual memory in my brain and it does not require me to go back again and again to the Mus'haf. So mm -hmm. this is where it benefits you. Moreover, some people, they choose the Mus'haf's which are meant for Tilawa purpose. So in India, you have 13 lines Quran. And I think the one which you mentioned, 11 lines Quran, even that is for Tilawa purpose. So these Mus'haf's, uh, you will find that each page in the Quran, it does not end on an ayah. It usually gets carried on to the next page. It creates a little bit of difficulty when it comes to leading Tara. And uh, that is the reason I advise whoever wants to do Hibs. He either chooses the 15 lines indo Park script Mus'haf or either he chooses the 15 lines Mus'haf al Madina, the one which has been printed from King Fahad, King Fahad Press in Saudi Arabia, which is usually known as the Madina Mus'haf, the one which you are referring to. Even that is 15 lines and uh, each page ends on an I. One more benefit which you get through the indo Park script is that you have the Ruku system. So this Ruku system also helps. For example, if you follow the Ruku system while you are leading Salah or while you are leading Salah, you Salah, you can stay rest assured that wherever, if you are ending your Tilawa on a Ruku, you can stay rest assured that you have completed the context because these Rukus they are placed according to the context of the verses. The topic keeps changing from mm. page to page. 
so this ruku system ensures that you are reciting the ayas of one context okay even this is another advantage whichever mushaf you start with you stay with it till the end and you don't keep switching between mushafs because that will affect your visual memory of the quranic pages yeah that nicely raises that topic but even when you're mentioning these different mushaf types you realize how much depth there is to everything as in i i had never knew about this how there's certain mushaf that are more suit more suited for those who want to do hifs and the different ones for tilawa and th- this is the kind of knowledge that can help you and and this is the benefit of asking someone who has expertise in that field bismillahir rahmanir rahim